Hey everyone, this is going to be part three of my four video series where I show you my complete collection of Warner Brothers DVDs and Blu-rays. This video is going to be a little bit more unorganized than the first two, but uh, it has my holiday titles and then it also just has some miscellaneous feature length movies and things like that. So uh, with that said, we'll just get started with the first title in this stack. The four film favorites holiday family collection it includes four movies, Jack Frost, Richie Rich's Christmas Wish, A Dennis the Menace Christmas, and The Nutcracker. I don't know if I've seen The Nutcracker from this or not. I just might not have watched it, but I for sure saw the other three, and they are quite good. So there's the spine, and here's the back. And uh, this was a nice pickup. I think it was at Walmart for like $10, maybe as much as $15. Can't exactly remember, but it's a good value with all four of these movies. And inside we have the stacked disc thing going on, so I'm just going to show you the first two, I guess. Um, just too much work to take all of them out. But yeah, uh, being that it is kind of a budget release, you just get this kind of less than desirable case. But that's how that goes. The next one is the 10 Holiday Favorites Chris Classic Christmas Favorites. This basically just has 10 holiday features on it. There's the spine and here is the back. And as you can see, it's still sealed in the package. I haven't opened this one up. Um, I'm probably going to open this up in a separate video for the holidays. So I'm not going to open it up in this video. But uh, it has the Grinch. Uh, Leprechaun's Christmas Gold, Pinocchio's Christmas, Stingiest Man in Town, Year Without a Santa Claus, Rudolph's Shiny New Year, Nestor the Long-Eared Christmas Donkey, Frosty's Winter Wonderland, Twas the Night Before Christmas, and Rudolph and Frosty's Christmas in July. So it has some lesser known holiday favorites, and then The Grinch I would say is a bit more popular, but um, yeah, the Grinch is kind of the one that doesn't really fit in in here because the rest of them are kind of those uh, Rankin Bass, um, whatever, those kind of specials, just like, you know, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and those kind of things, but uh, the Grinch is kind of out of place, but kind of an interesting collection anyway, a good way to get all of these titles in one package. So anyway, there's that. And the next one we have is Snoopy's Holiday Collection. I really like this one. Has five Peanuts TV specials. Um, it has I Want a Dog for Christmas, Happy New Year Charlie Brown, and then it has a little featurette there, and then Charlie Brown's Christmas Tales, Is This Goodbye Charlie Brown, and then Happiness is Peanuts, Snow Days. Uh, nice little slip cover, and basically what this is, is just a compilation release of three DVDs that were released individually. So I Want a Dog for Christmas, Charlie Brown, Charlie Brown's Christmas Tales, and then The Happiness is Peanuts Snow Days. So all of these three titles were released individually. Nice that it has a flipper case in there. And overall, this is just a really good release that I am very happy to have. It costs about $15, so five bucks per DVD. Not a bad value. And it's the same price deal for this next one. Uh, three holiday movies, Merry Mischief Collection. Um, so there it is. Just has uh, Tom and Jerry title, Scooby-Doo, and then the Bah Humduck movie. Three DVDs compiled into this collection. So for people who don't already have these three titles and want to pick them up, you know, this is a good option for you. So there's Scooby-Doo, Winter Wonder Dog, Bah Humduck, A Looney Tunes Christmas, and then Tom and Jerry, Pause for a Holiday. And I did watch this one, and it's not really holiday related at all. A few episodes have like some snow theme in them, but really it's not very holiday-like at all. So kind of not the greatest release for that Tom and Jerry one, but you know, whatever. It is what it is. So the next one we have is another compilation. I do have a lot of these compilations, I guess. Uh, four Kid Favorites Holiday Family Fun Collection. They all have this similar titles, these ones. Um, a Miser Brothers Christmas, Jack Frost, A Flintstones Christmas Carol, and Yogi Bear's All-Star Comedy Christmas Caper. 
So four more classic Christmas titles. And I do like these uh, compilations just because they're so cheap. I think this one, probably about $10. So, again, you deal with the stacked disc thing, but, uh, you know, for the price, it's something you just, you know, it's it's almost just worth it. So, and you could always, I could always get um, new cases for these as well. So, nice four compilation Christmas collection there. Uh, next, we got some Cartoon Network titles. So this is the Cartoon Network Holiday Collection. Some newer cartoons on here. It's got some Adventure Time, Regular Show, Amazing World of Gumball, Clarence, and Steven Universe. So that's a nice collection there. Nice holiday collection. This one has an insert, and then there's the disc. A nice Christmassy green color. And next up we have Cartoon Network Christmas Rocks. This one has some of the older cartoons. Um, it's got Ed, Ed, and Eddie, Dexter's Lab, Courage, I Am Weasel, Johnny Bravo, that kind of stuff. And then it has some bonus tunes as well. So a pretty nice holiday release. Uh, this older one has an insert with an episode guide. Pretty nice. And then there is the disc. Nice and colorful artwork. Uh, next we go to a couple Halloween titles, the Cartoon Network Halloween 3, Sweet Sweet Fear. So there's the spine, and then here's the back. Basically just has a compilation of Halloween-themed episodes from various Cartoon Network shows. So there's the insert with episode guide, and then there is the actual disc. Next up we got Cartoon Network Halloween 2, the grossest Halloween ever. Basically the same kind of thing as that last one I showed you. Just has some various kind of scary or Halloween themed episodes of Cartoon Network shows. And then it has a few bonus tunes as well, which is pretty cool. Inside it has an insert. And then there is the actual disc. Now we have a few Easter titles, another four film collection, four family favorites, The Greatest Adventure Stories from the Bible. This one has The Miracle of Jesus, David and Goliath, Noah's Ark, and Moses. Really big fan of this collection of uh, Greatest Adventure Stories from the Bible. I wish they'd release the complete series, but for now they just have this four pack and also the Easter story available. So um, yeah, I think there was like 13 episodes total, but re a really good series from Hanna-Barbera. So there's that, and then inside we got the stacked disc thing. So, not a big fan of that, but again, budget titles, they're cheap, so you just deal with it. Uh, next up is the Easter story. There's the spine, and then here's the back. This is probably my favorite out of all of them that I've seen, just because it's the Easter story. There's no greater story than the Easter story. Um, so inside, there is the disc. And next up, we have the three-pack fun Easter three discs with the first Easter rabbit, Yogi the Easter bear, and the Easter bunny is coming to town. Here's a look at the back. And the three discs inside, nice flipper case, so not cheap packaging there. There's the first Easter rabbit, the Yogi Bear, uh, Yogi the Easter Bear, and then the Easter Bunny is coming to town, deluxe edition. So there is that pack. If I can close it up. There we go, it's getting stuck on something in there. Um, Next up, we have a Valentine's Day release, a Charlie Brown Valentine. So this one just has the one episode, and then it also has a special feature, Someday You'll Find Her, Charlie Brown. Um, so yeah, it has two episodes in one, so that's pretty nice. Uh, very basic release, though, no inserts or anything, recyclable case type thing. And kind of plain looking artwork, but it is what it is. So there's the disc. And next we just have a few random kind of uh, 
feature length movie, so another four film favorites of Free Willy. We got Free Willy 1, 2, 3, and 4. Um, honestly, I've watched the first one, and that's one, the one I like the best. I've watched the second one in the past, but it's been a long time. And these other, these last two, I don't know if I've even seen it all. Kind of don't really care to, but I got this title, I think it was really, really cheaply priced, like $8 or something. Um, so really a bargain for all four titles. Um, but yeah, there's the first DVD and uh, the second one. And yeah, so I won't show you all four, but it's the stacked disc thing again. All right, so this next title is Shiloh Season or Shiloh 2. Um, the second out of three movies, I think there was three in the trilogy. Um, yeah, so there's the front cover, and I think this is a Canadian release. I bought this on eBay, so I thought I was buying the um, American version, but I'm pretty sure it's Canadian. But basically, it's the same thing anyways, so um, it has the French there, English and French on the spine, and the same thing on the back for the description. It's English there and then French here. So yeah, pretty sure this is a Canadian release. Says here not authorized for sale or rental outside the USA or Canada. So I guess it could have been a USA release. Um, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure this is Canadian with all the French on here. Um, that would make the most sense to me, but basically the same thing as the USA release. So it doesn't really bother me any. Um, it is a double-sided disc, one side is widescreen, one side is full screen, so there's no artwork really on the disc. Next title, Sea Spot Run. This is a really good one. I used to watch this when I was growing up. Really fun title, so Sea Spot Run. There's the front and the spine and the back. And we'll take a look inside, and it's pretty much just nothing but the disc, but it has a nice artwork, so that's good. So yeah, that was just a budget title, can't remember where I bought it or anything. Next one is another four feature film collection. This one has Kangaroo Jack, The Ant Bully, Racing Stripes, and The Iron Giant. I bought this one for Kangaroo Jack. I really liked that movie, and I didn't care too much for the other three, but of course The Iron Giant is a classic, so I've watched that one. That's a good one. Uh, the other two, I don't know if I've really checked out that much. I should watch them, but um, a lot of times with these four collection films that I buy, I'm usually just interested in a film or two, but I get the whole thing because, you know, it's such a great deal. So anyways, there's the front slipcover, and inside, um, the artwork is actually just a little bit different. So... I've seen this in stores without the slipcover and it just looks like this, but um, I was lucky to get the one with the slipcover, but as you can see, artwork is slightly different. And inside, this one isn't a stacked disc thing. This is actually, they did double-sided discs, so the first one has two movies there, and then the second one has two movies, front and back. Um, not really sure if I have any preference for you know, either the stacked discs or the way they did it in this one because double-sided discs aren't that great either because they get scratched easy, but, you know, whatever. Anyways, there's that for feature film collection. Uh, the next one is Richie Rich. This one, just a good Macaulay Culkin film. Really have enjoyed this one. Just a $5 title. I probably picked it up at Walmart or something. But yeah, there's Richie Rich. There is the back. And we'll open it up. No inserts inside, just the disc. So there it is. Uh, the next one is a double feature. Actually, the next two are double features. So this one is Dennis the Menace Special Edition, and then Dennis the Menace Strikes Again. So it has the first one and then the sequel. There's the spine. And here's the back. And uh, this one is a double-sided disc, so... One movie on one side, the other movie on the other side. And finally, we have this family double feature of Quest for Camelot and Cats Don't Dance. I bought it for Cats Don't Dance. Just another uh, movie I watched when I was growing up. Used to rent it at the video stores and everything like that. Uh, never did watch Qu Quest for Camelot, but uh, got this one for a pretty cheap price, if I remember right. So... 
uh, get two and one. Maybe I'll watch it someday. There's the back. And this one looks like Quest for Camelot is a double sided disc. So let's see, it must be full screen on one side and widescreen on, wide screen on the other side. And then Cats Don't Dance has its own disc, not double sided, single sided, so it has nice artwork. So interesting release there. And looks like that brings me to the end of part three of four. So I'll have links in the descriptions to the other three as well. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.